paper together. This is an update from the last one I gave at the last forum. But I wanted to put this article in here of this guy that's, um, he's, a, he's a sheriff. He's rerunning for sheriff again in one of the counties here in Florida. And if you just Google, he paid $86,000 for his barbecue for his re-election party. $86,000. And one of his deputies on the, on the sheriff's department here in the county, in, in one of the counties in Florida, went ahead and said, and, and he turned state evidence against his own sheriff because he said he's not, he, as, he figured as a constitutional officer, his job was to defend the rights of the people, not to cover up for the corruption. And one of his biggest complaints was all the stuff that was confiscated that, that, that they were bringing into the sheriff's department in the laundry. And this is the kind of stuff, and it's, and it's what it is, is, is if there's not some kind of a system of accountability where these guys are held accountable, everything that's confiscated by the sheriff's department, it disappears. I mean, tons of stuff. And, um, and so that's why usually the, the people, just, just go to YouTube, go to my YouTube and listen to the people tell you. Just listen to them. Listen out of their own mouths. That's all I can advise you to do. So, a hundred, a hundred and uh, the uh, sheriff he was referring to in that instance would be uh, using tax dollars to purchase barbecue grills for campaign events uh, was Sheriff Bradshaw of yeah. Palm Beach County. He actually reported on that uh, last week uh, on 1787network.com and we interviewed the gentleman who blew the whistle on the activities on Friday's show. It's available on podcast if you're interested. So that's my plug is over. Um, <laughs>